What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are looking at the edge rushers or just the defensive line, the pass rushers I should say, uh, for Mountain 22, their ratings, they actually have the database up but it is only limited to the positions they have released. Although I don't think they showed the rookies though, like they have the rookies, to be fair that might still be secretive but they uh, they just have the the wide receivers and the uh, you know pass rushers. Uh, or the defensive linemen, I suppose. And here you can see that we have the strength ratings. We have the power and finesse and uh, the overall, you know, top rated players. I think they also do have just like every rating. We'll see, though. Uh, the strength ratings, obviously, Donald at 99. Matthew Ioannidis with 98. A lot of uh, Washington football team players there. Well, maybe not a lot, but two of them. Deron Payne and Matthew Ioannidis, 98 and 95. Uh, Linval Joseph, 98. I can't remember if Linval Joseph was always that high a strength, but maybe a decent overall for him in this year's game. Vita Vea, always high strength, 97. Pierce, 96. Kenny Clark, 96. Brandon Williams, 96. A lot of big boys in there, obviously, as you would expect. And then for the power move uh, rating, Aaron Donald went 99. Obviously, you would expect that because he's... In the 99 club again, uh, Chris Jones being showed here with a 97 rating. Fletcher Cox, 95. Cameron Hayward, 94. Hicks, 91. Two at 90. Matthew Ionine is 89. Jonathan Allen, 88. Vita at 87. And Anyamata at 86. I feel like there's a couple of guys that could have been in there, but is this just for interior type players? Because it says defensive line. Oh, so do they actually change... The terminology for once? Do they actually change edge and uh, like interior? Please tell me they did. Of course, for the actual edge rushers, here are the overalls. Miles Garrett at 98, Khalil Mack at 96, TJ Watt at 94, Chandler Jones at 94, uh, JJ Watt at 94, Cameron Jordan at 93, Vaughn at 93. What is that picture though? Holy crap. Joey Bosa at 92, Nick Bosa at 90, and Zedarius at 89. Uh, and as far as being fair goes, as a Packers fan, I think it's all fair. I really do. I think it's pretty damn good. Miles Garrett at 98 makes a lot of sense. Khalil Mack was still really good. His numbers might have looked down, but he was obviously being doubled all the time. And, uh, you know, he was the main dude over there. TJ Watt, you know, his stats looked insane. But you look deeper at the advanced stats, and they're not as good as people think they are. Still a really, really talented player, though, obviously. But you know what I mean? It's just when you're saying he was the best defender in the league, the best pass rusher in the league and all that, you do have to kind of take it down a notch a little bit when the facts aren't there. You know, he just wasn't the best. Very good, though. Very good, though. Uh, Chandler Jones, obviously, getting some recognition for, like, the last couple of years. T uh, J.J. Watt, anyways, if he's healthy, that pass rush should be deadly. Cameron Jordan, you know, he's always been pretty consistent. Von Miller, we'll see what happens after the injury. Joey Bosa and Nick Bosa, you know, they fit right where they are. And then Zedarius, a little bit of a down year, but still, you know, decent enough, obviously, to crack the top 10. Of course, now we're with the actual uh, database. You can see Aaron Donald, the highest overall player. Uh, well, 99 overall, two players at 99 overall so far revealed. As far as who would be next, I would say Mahomes would be a 99. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else. It might be uh, two quarterbacks. I don't think they would put Der uh, Derek Henry there. Chubb, I don't think, is high enough overall. Oh, yeah, Travis Kelsey and Kittle, maybe. I think Kittle, with the injury, they'd have to leave him off the 99. I think Travis Kelsey is a 99. And then maybe either Wagner, which I wouldn't rec I, I don't think he would be Wagner or... Maybe an offensive lineman like Quentin Nelson. Quentin Nelson could be a 99. I think that would make a lot of sense, actually. So my guess would be uh, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Quentin Nelson. I don't think... Then again, Brady's on the cover. If they make Brady a 99, that's bad. That is biased as hell. <laughs> Swami with that hand. That swift hand for 99 overall. But anyways... Uh, let me know who you guys think is going to be the last three 99s. I think Mahomes prob. I mean, I would say Rodgers probably does deserve 99 over Mahomes, to be honest. But I know the way it is, and uh, that he's on the cover, you know, Mahomes anyways, that it probably won't be. 
but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at some of these ratings, though, for Mr. Aaron Donald. So, of course, even with that age of himself, I don't know what that means, still really fast. May even be faster than he started last Madden, which is pretty impressive. Uh, let's take a look at what the finesse rating is, which you can see here, 97 finesse, 97 block shedding, 98 pursuit. He's just a god, honestly. He's just, he's, he's an absolute legend, which we already knew, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, this, I will admit, is very annoying. Can I look at, like... Obviously, we can't look at corners. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that. What the hell? Thank you. Let's just pretend that the database is gonna die for us. Thank you. Damn it. I thought it was gonna, you know, maybe we cheat the game. Who knows? All right. So they still have the terminology of just outside linebacker rather than edge, even though they literally said top edge and all that. But this is probably the easiest way to do this. So Glomac at 99 overall. I can I just like get rid of this? Thank you. That's what I wanted to see. So I could just see all of their ratings at one. Chandler Jones, as we would expect, kind of on this lower side, unfortunately. Zadaria, man, they uh, they actually did lower the speed quite a bit on a lot of players. Like Vaughn was like probably near 90 before the year. Like, you know, well, this new year, uh, edge rusher is just slower in general, it seems. I don't know if that's actually true, but obviously the awareness for all these guys, ex exceptionally high. What about the catching? See some uh, some okay catching ratings there, obviously. Uh, jumping, some low jump for some of these uh, these bigger, slower guys. Let's take a look at the ratings that actually matter, though. Power move. The highest power move of the bunch is Chandler Jones at a 95. Khalil Mack's ratings have dropped pretty tremendously. I mean, as far as a pure pass rusher goes, he's technically worse than Joey Bosa here. Uh, he's worse than Chandler Jones, obviously not the speed. Um, but yeah, very interesting to say the least there. Uh, block shed 93, obviously way higher than the rest. Vaughn at 92. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Pursuit, uh, 90s for everyone, obviously makes sense. Play rec, 90s for everyone. Uh, coverage ratings, where's TJ Watt? He's probably going to be one of the highest, if not the highest coverage rating guy for an edge rusher with a 59 man, 65 zone. Okay, hit power 88 for for Mr. Khalil Mack. A little surprised that his is 88 with Vaughn at 89. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I think Khalil Mack should probably be higher than him, but I, I mean, sure, I guess. Not a single one of the players is a right outside linebacker, by the way, which is uh, pretty crazy. So we could see here that, uh, unfortunately, some of these uh, we've already seen, but what can you do? Can we see all of them here? Oh, we can. So, uh, you know, here's the speed. Miles Garrett in 85 speed. Nick Bosa 79. Uh, so speeds for the edge rushers do seem a little low, I will admit. Especially when you consider, like, is Nick Bosa really only six speed faster than Stefan Tuitt, who's like, what is he, 6'7", 300 pounds or something like that? 6'6", 300 pounds. I know the acceleration matters a lot too, but, like, you can't tell me Nick Bosa is only two speed faster than J.J. Watt. Like I said, I know that Excel matters the most for an edge rusher, but still. Uh, also, Nick Bosa with only 85 strength is is kind of rough. Uh, let's take a look at the stuff that actually matters, though. That's the ones we're here for. So, power move, 98 for Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett's obviously a beast. Nick Bosa with 85. Clayus Campbell, not really that good at pass rushing in Madden. 85 uh, power move, 90 block shed. I mean, yeah, he can obviously uh, eat up the line and, you know, take down to runners, but... Still a pretty damn good pass rusher, so I'm a little confused by that one. Uh, finesse move, Cameron Jordan has none of it. Same with uh, Hayward and Calais. Nick Bosa, that's what he excels at here. Stephon a very solid player going into Madden next year, it seems. Block shed, you know, Nick Bosa's not technically a run defender, but still 80s, really good. Uh, everyone else in the 90s pursuit. Uh, Stephon Tewitt and Miles Garrett are really? Oh, I clicked the run. That was block shed. I was about to say, no way. So, yeah, everyone's pursuit is perfectly fine. Play rec, pretty decent. Man coverage, Miles Garrett, decent in coverage ratings. Uh, and I think that's really it. You guys got hit power. Yeah, nothing really to, to show for there. And then the final ones, the DTs in the league, I mean, they're still really solid, obviously. But there used to be some, like, really, really high overalls. But here, you know, 94, nothing really super, super spectacular. But, of course, Fletcher Cox, play him at the edge, play him wherever you want because... That speed's crazy. Like, it's right on par with Nick Bosa, pretty much. Uh, strength 95. Everyone here with 
a lot of strength. We've seen the majority of them on the top 10 strength list uh, just a little bit ago. DeForest Buckner, very agile, very agile. Good awareness for everyone here. Catching 40 there. Let's see if we have... Uh, it would been nice to see Vita Vey with a little bit higher catching. That would have been kind of funny. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, jumping. There you go. The athletic beast. Spurs Fletcher Cox wasn't, Cox? Cox wasn't there a little bit higher. DeForest Buckner, not bad, though. Uh, where's the ratings I want to actually see? There they are. So no finesse move there. Chris Jones is... Sheesh, he's good as hell. Um, pass rush. Am I missing something here? Because Kenny Clark kind of sucks ass at pass rusher. And his block shed's not even the number one. That's uh, kind of BS. Uh, be honest with you. It's kind of it's kind of unfair. Uh, of course, uh, the best looking player here really is just Chris Jones. Obviously, uh, Cox has the athleticism on him. But Chris Jones looks like the dude for DTs going forward. Obviously, he was kind of up there anyways. Pursuit. You know, pretty fair. Pursuit probably shouldn't be that high for most of these DTs, right? Uh, play recognition, not bad. Man coverage and zone coverage, not going to talk about that. Hit power, really surprised to see, you know, not a little bit more hit power here, but that's pretty much that. Throw power and all that, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. But yeah, I mean, going forward, I'd probably like to just limit uploads about this stuff to better positions, but... Considering they pretty much show the whole defensive line, and that is like one of the biggest positions. I also thought when I started recording that they were going to show rookies, which I could have showed, you know, Jalen Phillips, who we'll have in our Miami Dolphins uh, franchise, but they didn't. Uh, you know, a little disappointed about that, but it is what it is. If you guys enjoy this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Jumpy Care Plays, twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care, where we should be live again tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you do want to see me continue to upload these, obviously. If you don't, I'll just you know go back to the regularly scheduled programming, as they say. Um, but obviously, I don't mind looking at these because it is nice to kind of see some of the ratings and all that. Nothing too spectacular, but it did seem like a lot of the speeds are a little bit lower for pass rush. So that's something to note. If there was anyone that was snubbed out of the top 10 list, or you think, you know, hey, TJ Watt is the best pass rusher, you should be 99 overall. You know, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to to continue the conversation there. That should be it for uploads today. Tomorrow, probably more rating stuff. Maybe Steel a Superstar as well. But I suppose, you know, we're kind of running out of videos for like Rams and Steel a Superstar and all that. So any day I can kind of just push those back is a day that I will take. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video...